Google Drawing is perfect for creating graphic organizers, label images, and other interactive learning materials for the classrooms. You can also create infographics, newsletters, and other print medias. Drawings are collaborative blank canvases that can be downloaded as image files or inserted into other Google tools like Google Docs or Google Sites. This gives the students the opportunity to create and collaborative in the other tools don't offer. To get started, sign into your Google account. Then go to drawings.google.com. After signing in, a new blank drawing will be automatically created and added to your Google Drive. The gray and white check background means your drawing has a transparent background. To resize the canvas, click and drag the bottom right corner. With the shape tools, you can insert squares, circles or other shapes in your drawings. Use the fill icon, which looks like a paint bucket, to change a shape's color. You can add text to your drawings with the text box tools. Just like other Google tools, you can change the fonts, text size, and text color using the editing tools in the formatting toolbar. To create slightly stylized text, use the Word Arts options found in the Insert menu. Click and drag the corner of the words to resize it, just like you would for a shape. To edit word art text, double click on it and edit the text. To change the color of the word art, use the fill tool in the toolbar. You can also insert an image in the drawing by clicking the image icon. You have an option to upload an image from your computer, from your Google Drive, or photos, camera, or even from your web search. Google Drawing can be used for a number of instructional purposes by adding text, images, lines, and shapes. Students can create and collaborate on almost any visual representation of data. Take a look at these examples. With drawings, you can create graphic organizers like Venn diagrams. With pre-chosen words, students can click and drag into the appropriate spaces. Or you can create image diagram with blank spaces for students to fill in. Similar to Google Docs, Slides and Sheets, you can share drawings with others. Just click the share button and click the email address of a collaborator. You and your collaborator with editing permission can work simultaneously and add text, shapes, word art and images. Once you've completed your design, your drawings can be downloaded at several files types including JPEG, PNG, SVG, or PDF. These downloaded images can be inserted into emails, Google Docs, slides, sheets, forms, sites, and more. And those are the basics of Google Drawings. I hope that was helpful, especially those of you looking for productivity tips and tricks. And if you got opinions, I know you do, or if you want to share with your experience with different types of tips and tricks, let us know in the comments below, because I know lots of people will find your experience helpful. By the way, you can get in touch with me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and my website. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.